the entire globe today is Navajo or Hispanic or Mexican anywhere to be found in the Bible. Uh, no, 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 we're not going to do that conversation, right? The Bible specifically names 18 nations, right? Canaanites, Jebusites, Pharisees, Edomites, Israelites, Amalekites, right? What nation of those people do you fall in? I can't hear you. in the nation of Daniel. There's no nation of Daniel in the Bible. Okay, I'm, I'm part of the tribe of Judah. There, here's, here, let's, let's go through the scriptures and then answer my question again. I'm going to ask you again after we go through the scriptures. Give me Romans 8, 16. Oh, I already answered that question. We moved on to something else. I already said no, we're not going to allow that. Right? So okay. listen, so listen to this. So listen to this. Do you, do you believe in the Bible? If you believed in the Bible, you would hear this verse and we would not be going back and forth. You ready? Here we go. The book of Romans, chapter A and verse 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. The Spirit, which is this Bible, bears witness with us. Right? So there's... Give me Deuteronomy 32, yeah, the first, 26. the first one that passed. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26. Hey, watch this, little bro. Hey, little bro. Hear what we got to tell you. Deuteronomy 32, 26. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 26. I said, I will scatter them into corners. The Bible says that Israelites would be scattered across the world. Read. I will make them, the, I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. The Bible also says that the remembrance of the Israelites would stop before men. Right? So, how do we know that's talking with the principle to us? We go back to Romans, right? The Spirit bears witness with us. So what Spirit helps us to remember? Deuteronomy 28, verse 15, again. The Bible explains all things, sis. So again, if you love the Bible, if you love the Lord, this is not a you and me thing. No. This is you trying to bear witness because it'll save your soul. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, if we would not listen to the commandments of God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments, and to observe, to do it. That means we're watching to make sure we're always doing what it says. Yes, Read. Yes, yes. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, yes. now all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it says that every curse we would undergo would overtake us. So not only would it happen, but it would consume us. Do you understand so far? Right? So now, this is what we need to understand. Who did this happen to? Right? Because when Moses, when Moses prophesied this to those children of Israel back then, yes. this was prophecy. Yes. But as we look at world events, yes. we have to realize some a certain people match the history. Yes. Right? So go give me something on Gad. Give me 32. Read it when you get it. Verse 32. Verse 32 is going to explain something about the children of Israel that happened to them throughout history. You understand? Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Bring it out! Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That's right. How did the Native American Indians end up in boarding schools? On the mic. They were given over. What did the Bible, you said they were given over. What did the Bible just say? Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, were they literally given? Or, like, what, what really happened? Did they come in here and say, oh, here's our kids. You can take them. Take their customs away. Take their culture away. What happened? They were taken. Read verse 41 now. Moses, we were so hard-headed even back then, Moses told us twice in the same chapter. Read 41. Verse Deuteronomy 28, verse 41. Bring it out! Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. We would, we would still have, we would still be giving birth to kids. We would still be continuing our lineage. But, but, thou shalt not enjoy them. But, we couldn't see them grow up. We couldn't see them come of age. Right? We couldn't see them go on and get married themselves and have children. Read. For they shall go into captivity. Because they would go into captivity. 
Was that real? Is that imaginary? Or did that really happen? When Moses said it, it was prophecy. We live that history. Daniel 9, 11 and 12. Here's the other thing you need to know, Sister Deborah, right? When, as we go through and we look at this thing and we look at history, nobody else went through what we went through. You understand? Everyone wants to say God is all loving, all caring, and he is to the Israelites. But we also need to be mindful. This is the same God who cared the whole that. world and only left eight people. What story was that? That's the story of no, absolutely. So what makes us think today that same God is any different? That's the same, that's the same God. The same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. You understand? Read this. The book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Yet all Israel have transgressed thy law. All of us have went against the laws of God, and we did Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Read. Even today, sis. Look at look at the look at your Navajo brothers and sisters. How how often do we see them raping little girls on the, uh, the reservation? How often do we see them shooting up? I know. You understand what I'm saying? All of us have went contrary to the Bible. Read. Even by departing, even by departing, by walking away from the laws and commandments. And that they might not obey their voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. It says, therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Hold on a second. It says, therefore, the curse is poured out, sis. Does that make any sense to you? This is, this is what's happening to us. This is not everybody. Watch this, though, sis. Now we're going to down the now we're gonna get a little bit deeper. Let's see, because you're, you're bearing witness so far. Let's see if it continues to happen. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. Whoa, it said enemies. Did it say your neighbor? Did it say your friend? It said your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent them against us because we didn't want to listen. We actually wanted to go and chase the other nations. We wanted to go and chase the other people. So God said, if you're not going to listen to me, those same people you want to be your friend, I'm going to make them rain hell over you. That's you understand? Right. Read. In hunger. So when we're hungry, we got to serve our enemy. Read. And in thirst. When we're thirsty, we have to serve our enemy. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. We got to serve our enemy. That means if we need some clothes on our back, we got to go to the enemy. Read. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. Read. And he shall put a yoke. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It said in want of all things. How do you? How can we confirm today that you are a so-called Navajo? A CIB, right? CIB card? Something like that? Right? You don't have one, right? But Native Americans have to go and get that, right? To prove their, their bloodline, right? Who authorizes the CIB? The federal, the government! The same, watch what the Bible says. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So that same person we gotta serve, sis. Look at these images right here. Check these out. These same people we gotta serve, bro. They put us in chains. Now, sis, if you really bear witness, are those enemies that put us in chains? Please say it on the mic. Say it, no, 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 sis. Just say, just say it on the mic. Who was the enemy that put us in chains? I me, it was the enemy of Satan. Satan put us in No. You fell off the wagon, sis. You bore witness with everything else. Give me Job 9 and 24. The Bible said our enemies would put yokes of iron yes. on our necks. Yes. A devil, a red man with horns did not come down and do that, sis. No, I Who that. did that? Say it, sis. <laughs> Bring it out. The enemy has... No, 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 no. Answer the question, sis. Who put yokes of iron on our necks? The Bible said it would happen. Who did that? It was not a red, a red skin born thing. So who was it? Just answer. Oh no. No. 
It's the white man, sis. It's, it's that great. It's the white man. It was the Arab man. It was the Chinese man. It was the East Indian. That's what the Bible is saying. Read what you got. The book of Job, chapter 9, and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered up the faces of the judges thereof. It says the earth is given to the wicked. Who rules the earth today? Sis, come on. If, look, you can't bear witness up until a point. I'm not, I'm not giving you the mic for you to spill your own thing, right? This is what we're saying. It's, there's a certain people. It's a certain group of people that rule the earth, that put us in chains, that separated us from our kids, that killed our, that took our land, that killed our cattle, that, that made us out. starve in the winter. It was a certain people. Just to say, just to say the people. That's right. The people who serve Molech. No. Hey, hey, bro, come up here, bro. Hey, come up here, bro. Hey, what's your name, fam? What's your name, bro? I'm not gonna say my name, but I'll come up. I got you. I'm Jeremiah, bro. Good to meet you. So, who are those people that put us in chains? The people who put us in chains are called the Edomites. That's right. Oh, crazy. So you know about this Bible, huh? So you know you're in Israel. Oh, crazy. What tribe you from? You from the tribe of Benjamin? Yeah. That's true. All praises. So now that you you understand that you're an Israelite today, how do you know you're an Israelite? Go. Well, I know I'm an Israelite. All praises. So there's a, a the, the curse is in where? Actually, it goes to Leviticus 26 That's and Deuteronomy 28. That's right. All praises. So the Bible tells us again, sis. These curses would happen to the Israelites. Right. Why now let me ask you this. Why is it so important that we know who we are as a people? I know you know the answer, but she don't. Let me let me get her to get to where you let, let me let me let me get her to get it to you. Go ahead. Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer the question. Why is it so important that we know who we are today according to the Bible? Why is that important? We need to know since you did it. You did a lot of rambling, but the, here's the here's the answer in short The answer in short is because God only knows the Israelites. That's right. That name the only name he knows Read that the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1 Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. O children of Israel O children of Israel Read against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt he brought the Israelites out of Egypt. Up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only... Who? You only... One more time. You only... You only have I know of all the families of the earth. So out of all 18 nations, the billions and billions of people that live on the earth, who did God says he only knows, sis? The Israelites. That's right. The Israelites. So I'm a Sephardic Jew from Spain. Uh, again, you my have to tribe, bear witness. My tribe. Hey, Deuteronomy taken, 28 again. My tribe was taken. The Israel, my Sephardic, the Sephardic people, the Jews, were taken from uh, from Israel uh, to thrown into Spain uh, by the Romans. Uh, and and then and then they they inhabit to the Iberian Peninsula. Uh -huh. So I'm this, I'm a Sephardic Jew. I know that. Deuteronomy. You want me to do my whole history? Oh, <laughs> this, because the history is important. But Who since you it? since you Who say is? you know, it read this real quick. Forty six. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight and verse forty six. Right, I'm sorry for you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 45. Bring it up. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, 
to them be destroyed until we are destroyed as a people. Sis, you want to know how I know you're destroyed? Because you're native, you're Native American, you're Navajo. You're also Mexican, right? You're also a Sephardic dude. That's not how the Bible tells us to determine who we are. We already went through it, sis. You have to bear witness with this Bible. You have to bear witness with the oppression because the Lord said that would only happen to the Israelites. You understand that? Now, again, back to why it's so important to know that besides God just only dealing with us, who is he only coming to say? Answer the question. He's coming to say all he wants all No. No. Give me, give me, hey, all praises, bro. You know this thing. Give me, no, listen, listen, bro. Give me Revelation 21. Come on. Revelation 21. Let's go from right there. The Bible is very important that we need to, that is why we got to learn this Bible. God is not coming for everybody. He never, he never said that in the Old Testament. He never said it in the New Testament. Read this. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a great wall and high and had 12 gates. Read over, read over. The book of Revelation chapter 12, chapter 22 and verse 12. And had a great wall and high and had 12 gates. In this new kingdom, okay, there is a wall great. So what tribe you say? And it had 12 gates. Read. And had 12 gates. And had 12 angels, and written, and names written on thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. The, the Bible says the kingdom was only given to the Israelites. That's right. Edomites don't get in. Amalekites don't get in. Right. Jebusites do not get in. Right. It is only the Israelites. That's Again, right. if you cannot bear witness with this, if you cannot accept that that is what the Bible is saying, I don't have any magic scripture to give you, sis. But this is what the Bible says. You understand? Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role 